Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Cave Survival. This is 4Page and this is, sadly, the last episode. As you may have noticed, if you've been keeping track of these uh, Minecraft episodes, I have been very, very, very lax in updating them. Like, they're supposed to be like three every weekend, but I have done like one every other week. Uh, so, I don't know, it's just this series, I really haven't found much to do in Minecraft and I've been kind of really not wanting to do it anyways. So this is going to be the last episode. Um, and it's not going to be like a regular episode, it's just going to be a quick walkthrough. Just looking at everything that I've done. So nothing really particularly special, I guess. Look at this, look at this. I was going to make like a, a hedge maze out of blueberry bushes, but I didn't have enough. So, it would have been really small anyways. S small hedge maze. That's an interesting hat. Anyways, I didn't get to do anything with my foyer, and particularly I didn't do anything with my brewing stand. So, that's, that's depressing. Got a lot done in here. Oh, 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 this is especially something I wanted to take a look at. I changed this around. I know in the last one I said that that was that and I had the design and it was perfect and everything, but I found out that you can't actually take uh, take items out of the tops of these and so that made it not good. So, uh, whereas before I had it staggered so it was like down, up, down, up, down, up, down or whatever. I had to take uh, this one off and slap it over there. And then put these heaters up on top, as you can see. It didn't really change the uh, thingies, the the servos. Didn't really change the servos a whole lot. They just kind of, they basically do the same. I just had to move around the bottom things a little bit. These things down here, just so I could get them in the right places. And then they have them. I didn't need to make a whole bunch of precision import buses, but I did. So they, they, I would have done just as well just having regular import buses. That was a lot of work wasted, but hey, it works now. Um, so you can see I got a whole bunch of like, this tin, right? This silver. Silver, there's nothing in there because that's dark iron. I have absolutely zero of it. Bunch of copper, and I fell in a hole. Stuff like that. It does, you know, as per usual, take forever for these things to go through. So I don't think it's actually worth it just to have seven. But, you know, if you have enough room you can in and enough materials, you can increase this indefinitely. So you can make, like, instead of just having it seven here, you can have, like, 20. And then you get, uh, it's freaking 100 every 20 minutes. And that's... A lot better. Significantly better. And then I put a whole bunch of furnaces back here to smelt these things. These are export buses that I put facades over so you can't see them. Looks really nice. I widen these things just to make it look nice. I don't really know why I didn't do that to begin with. And here's my beautiful marble room with a burnt quartz, quartz accent. And my quartz stairs. Yep, this place actually looks pretty nice. I, I could have made it a look a lot nicer, but especially with this, I didn't do basically anything up here. Here's my experience farm. Oh my gosh, there's just so much here. So much that I did, that I done, I done did. I wonder how many levels are in this. Let us find out. 75 levels. 75 levels in that tank. Could make it like absolutely gigantic and have it all full of experience. That would be awesome. But no no use in that. No sense. How far did I explore? I explored a heck of a ways through these caves. Look at all this. It's crazy. 
it was fun, it was exciting, it was a wonderful world to actually live in, to explore, to survive in. Made a nice little tree farm. I was gonna... I never did get to do thumb, Thumbcraft. That's one thing I didn't do. I was going to do it a long time ago, but I, I couldn't find any paper, and then I just decided not to. That makes me sad. But I was gonna exchange, like, all of this mycelium for many, many blocks with, uh, just straight dirt and grow it into grass. That was, so I was gonna make, like, a huge grassy area. And I was gonna use, uh, the thermal, not thermal expansion, Thoncraft, uh, wand of equal trade thing to, to do that. It was gonna be cool and great and everything, but I never did. Just sad. Again. I say that a lot. It's sad. Sad that I might, I might, you know, come back to this world. I doubt it, but what the heck? Oh, that was something I was testing out earlier. I don't remember why. But anyways, let's see what I did in the Nether. I don't really remember. I didn't do a whole lot in there. Here we go, into the nether. How many zombie pigmen slash belts slash trites are going to be here to attack me when I enter? None! Wow, that's surprising. Ah, uh, hello! 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 Nice to meet you. Yes, yes, you are lovely. Here's my cacodemon, he's not doing anything. I tried to get him to follow me, but he won't. I think he's mad at me. So basically, all I've done here is make a little uh, pinky pen right there, some stairs to get up, nice cobblestone hut, and this thing, my uh, blaze spawner. Yep. How far do I explore here? Eh, a ways, mostly north, a little bit to the southeast. I don't. Know, I think this was a pretty good bl uh, nether spawn. To be honest, I'm looking forward to coming back uh, in Minecraft. I uh, I'll just say this for the end of the video. All right, that's enough of the Nether. That I had like freaking 14 different Mistcraft ages. I'm not gonna go through those. I didn't do anything with them. But anyways, so with that, with that it's nighttime. I, I set something up while a little bit bef uh, I set something up before this video just kind of as a, like a little bit of a finale video finisher so you can see I got these dispensers right here but what's in them what does this lever do what's going to happen I'm sure you can imagine push on I just kind of pinged off in that direction. There's a bunch of them that just don't do anything. And there they are. All the fireworks that I made. Fireworks, I found out, are a pain in the butt to make. They are like the most frustrating things ever. Because you have to, like, to make, I mean, you should make regular fireworks that you just, and they just shoot up a little ways and they don't do anything. But if you want to make them good, you have to make the little firework star. And those things, you have to make them with the gunpowder, and if you want to make, like, a nice setup, kind of like what I did, I did, that wasn't, like, the best. You have to make, like, a whole bunch of different colors, and then have them all fade into different colors, so then you end up with, like, 80 different items. And then you have to craft those into fireworks, and, ugh, it's just, like... Crazy, super nonsense, difficult. But anyways, that's enough about that. I hope you enjoyed the fireworks display. It wasn't as good as it could have been, but <laughs> I'm lazy. All right. Anyways, thank you guys. Thank you everybody so much for your support in this series. And I'm really, really sorry that I wasn't able to finish this sooner. Um, or that I didn't finish this sooner. I am very sorry that I didn't do more, and I'm sorry that it's going, because I love Minecraft, and I'm 
I'm gonna miss this world. I always do. Like, I, I think back, like, four years ago, when I first got into Minecraft, in the very first world I made, and I'm like, I missed that. I made, like, a really cool mushroom house. It was awesome. But I really missed that. And maybe I'll come back to this world. Maybe not. Probably not, though. Um, so this is the end of Minecraft Cave Survival. Don't worry, don't worry, Minecraft will be back eventually, but it will not be this same mod pack. I'm thinking I'm going to do more vanilla-ish stuff. Um, a vanilla world without all of the tech mods. I might have Lycanite's mobs, I will probably have like a few other just uh, lesser mods installed, but I won't have like build craft, thumb craft, um, industrial craft, etc. It will come back eventually. I don't know when that day will come, but eventually. So don't hold your breath. Anyways, to replace this series, I am doing Kerbal Space Program, and I really hope that you guys will support me in that endeavor. And that you will enjoy that as much as you've enjoyed Minecraft Cave Survival. So as we watch the sun rise on a brand new day, we will say goodbye to the world we love. And look forward to new adventures and new games and new everything. Goodbye everybody. Take it easy. Ta-ta!